Okay, here we have the review of the Volvo EC 460 CLD demolition excavator made by NZG in 150th scale and what a nice piece it is. I will start off by saying that. Big piece. 45 to 50 ton excavator range. Um, I don't have a whole lot of 45 to 50 ton excavators. I will most certainly be getting the dirt version, the regular bucket version. Uh, I like this piece a lot. There are very few things that I do not like about it. NZG has really stepped up their game. And, um, man, it'd be really cool to see them do some cat pieces that, are, would, that would be this detailed. Uh, this is a little unusual, obviously being an NZG piece because uh, Motor Art, Motor Art isn't exclusive with Volvo, but um, they certainly have been the only ones in the recent past to do Volvo models. So enough talking. I'm going to get to the review. I'll start with the undercarriage. Go ahead and slide you in there. Now we are going to start off with a thing that I do not like: the tracks they will fall apart. I've already had to put them back together. Do not do not play with the tensioner on your EC460 CL or EC460 CLD unless you want to find out just how hard it is to put these tracks back together. I think not positive, but what I believe is that it is easier for the people that assemble these models to put these tracks together, and I think they can put them together a lot quicker since they don't have to snap the links together, since they can just hook the links together. And I'm pretty sure that's why they did this and why they do this with other pieces, because I know this isn't the only piece that NZG does it with. I give them an F on the tracks. I give them an A plus on the model, but an F on the tracks. I am probably going to see if I can get some Conrad tracks for it, um, but I'm not going to go to any great lengths. I'm not going to mess with the uh, sprocket and idler, so if I can't make that, those tracks work, then I'm not even going to mess with it. But that's a forewarning thought I should say that first next I'll show you the cab which is very 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 detailed you see the controls and the seat sorry about the glare the lighting here is bad for some reason you can see the Volvo logo there on the cab that's nice and clean and you think sometime I will figure out how to use this camera I apologize very well scaled railings there very nice mirror mirror is plastic um, that's not so cool but that's yeah, alright still a nice piece I got this piece for uh, well under retail there's nothing wrong with it but I was able to uh, talk the price down a little bit um, I the retail price that I've seen is like between 130 and 150 dollars so uh, I don't think that's bad, especially for what you're getting. That's just my thoughts on that. The tracks do roll pretty well. But here again, don't play with the tensioner because it'll totally fall apart. So I'm going to bring the camera back here and turn this thing around. It's a kind of a big piece. So we can look at the undercarriage. Very nicely detailed undercarriage. Casting is very nice and clean. Uh, it is a low sheen or like a matte paint finish. It doesn't it's not a high gloss, which is right on. Volvo machines are not high gloss. If you've ever watched any of Let's Dig 18's videos, a little shout out for Let's Dig 18. You've seen his machines. They're not high gloss, obviously. So up here at the top of the counterweight, they've modeled quite well the counterweight rem removal device. It is modeled in plastic, as is the mirror, obviously. 
lights are painted obviously the exhaust there is plastic it does have an opening engine compartment there so I will try to show you that real quick from behind etched in surface there not all the way through obviously because you can't see through it I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and close that and I'll show you the top of the body which is nicely detailed see the cab guard another thing you don't want to mess with is the cab guard it is 100 percent plastic talk about that more in a second here you can see the air cleaner which they did a nice job on plastic fuel caps over here no real anti-slip on this machine uh, it's like printed so it's definitely not anti-slip you can see all the hydraulic lines here that's kinda new that's newer for NZG and wow do they look nice although they have glued them to the boom they're like a rubber hydraulic line and they do not stay in place very well uh, there's a railing right here behind the cab accurately modeled nice and thin but plastic I'm going to flip the model around to the other side and also talk about the cab guard quickly uh, the cab guard cab guard being all plastic a lot of people whenever they try to pose their model they will stick their thumb or their finger here while they move the boom stick bucket whatever don't do that you absolutely will break the cab guard. It's very flexible, but it will snap. I thought the cab guard was metal, and that's a, that is a little disappointing. I, I thought it was metal. I put my finger on there and quickly found out it is not. When and if you need to pose your machine, and again, these aren't made to be played with in the sandbox, so you shouldn't be doing that very often. My suggestion is to take your hand hold under the counterweight put your thumb or your finger here behind the cab in the cab guard to move the boom stick bucket whatever you want to do just my personal opinion while I'm doing that I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this thing out all the way and show you just how far it can stretch out move this over it can stretch out quite a ways for a 45 ton machine come back over here see the EC460 CLD is very nice and clean although my camera isn't showing it that way for some reason the Volvo graphics very nice Volvo graphics on the boom very nice here again the undercarriage is the exact same as you just saw on the other side Obviously this thing rotates 365 degrees on the undercarriage like any excavator model. I will show you that right now. There you go. Sorry for having my hands in the video so much. I'm going to back the camera up a little bit more. Show you how high this thing can go. And if I have a tape measure handy which I do not right now sorry this thing comes up quite a ways the processor moves 365 degrees very very nice rotation opens and closes go ahead and put this back down I'm going to try to fold this up real quick so you can see for transportation what it could look like. For transportation mode, if you go to put this on a sword low boy, a first gear low boy, <clears throat> put the outriggers out on the low boy, put the planks on the outriggers. If you're going to put this on a low boy for any reason, it will slide right off of both of them. I have tested it, so take my word for it. Take a couple extra seconds, 
flip out the outriggers, put the planks down before you put the model on the low boy. This model is way too expensive to be breaking, obviously. I'm going to go again quickly. There is two mirrors here, a handrail you can see. All plastic, but nicely made. I'm going to open up the engine cover real quick. Show you what's in there. Wow, that didn't focus very well. You can see the Volvo logo on the engine. Here again, you can see the air cleaner this side through the cab. I do not want to miss the processor. This is obviously going to be a long video. We are at 1040 right now. I'll try to get this done under 15. As I said, processor turns 360, opens like I have it, and does close. Now, the thing that surprised me, every other one of these that I've seen, I and I've only seen pictures of them, I have not seen those yellow, yellow, wow, I cannot talk, sorry. I have not seen those yellow cylinders. That is new for me, so I don't know what that is. I'll have to go and look on some other videos and see if that's the way they are with other ones. To finish this up, you see they put a guard on the stick cylinder. Again, a very nice piece. I'm going to turn it around and try to show the cab guard a little bit better for the end of the review here. You see the, they've modeled some lights through the cab guard. Mirror coming off of the handrail there, coming off of the cab. They guarded the boom lift cylinders there very nicely. A lot of plastic. There is a significant amount of plastic on this piece. If you can't stand plastic, you're in the wrong hobby, number one. But if you have a problem with plastic, this may not be the model for you. Otherwise, I highly, 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 highly recommend this model. Especially if you can get it for a decent price. I like this one a lot. I have a industrial scale models. Labonte shear coming, so this actually is going to get transformed into a shear machine, second member shear. A little shout out to Industrial Scale Models. Be sure to like Industrial Scale Models on Facebook. Uh, like Mike's Models 2011 for more reviews and model news. Thanks for watching. That concludes this review, and stay tuned for more.